Hello and welcome to Alchemist Swim and I am Alchemist Jen. Hello, welcome to the day. Uh, so I hope you're having a good one. Uh, the whim of the day is to keep working on these drop spindles. So I have done some uh, experimentation. I weighed out, I kind of saw how they say that weighed out. I'm going to restart that sentence. I saw how that they were spinning. Um, and place them where I thought they should go. On my other ones, I had them so that they were this size up, um, but I found that they weren't spinning as well as I wanted them to spin. So I inverted them, put them this way up. Um, this with uh, the stand sanding that I did with the Dremel um, uh, stylo was better so that I was, it, I felt like I could showcase the top of it um, this time versus last time when I had made them I'd used uh, sheet, uh, sheets of uh, sandpaper and I felt like it clouded the top too much so I didn't want to like, I think I, I paused on um, putting them this way last time so they ended up this way but I find that they spin better this way. I'm just going to keep saying this way. So uh, what I've done here is I have um, finished sanding so I figured out how to um, change the cylinder, the sanding cylinder, because that's its real name. Um, basically, uh, there's like a little insert, a little silicon rubber insert that goes inside the cylinder. Um, but the when they come out of the factory, one end is actually a little more scrunched. So when you turn it over and then put it over the um, insert, it fits okay. And when you screw it on, it, it goes on snugly. So I was able to continue my sanding. And uh, so I'm pleased with how that came out. And um, I used uh, my hemp rope to secure the whorl onto the shaft there. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick little snip of that. I like to just keep them ready to go in case I need to retuck them in before uh, securing them like I need to do now. So, because then I, of course, then loosened it up. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> yep, life, life does its thing, and then you go to do a thing, and you're recording yourself, and then the thing gets disrupted because then it becomes unraveled. So. What I'm doing now is using Mod Podge um, in the next steps. So don't come on roll this time. Stay. Okay. <laughs> Stay. Telling you what to do. Anyway, so, um, so I'll be using Mod Podge to um, secure everything so that won't happen. It won't unravel in the future. Um, so I have this beautiful cap open with, I don't know why I kept the foil on it, but I did. Um, it is Mod Podge. Mod Podge. I can say Mod Podge. Can you say Mod Podge? I can now. Um, it's got the glitter in there, um, so that way it'll be sparkly, because sparkles are important. And um, then I can keep the glitter in there, and it's already in there, versus like doing a layer of Mod Podge, and then a layer of glitter, and then another layer of Mod Podge. It is already glittery. So I have my ancient paintbrush from forever and ever ago um, so I'm just gonna dip this in there and I'm hoping I'm not gonna make a big mess but I probably will since that's just the nature of how things go um, so I'm just gonna paint the Mod Podge on the top part here get a nice layer this is sealing in that acrylic paint as well so it's gonna give it more um, stability uh, and it, it will dry clear so I mean it'll take a little longer to cure the thicker you put it on there but that is fine it is meant to hold things in place it is a sealant as well so create that magic and it's glittery magic to boot so how about that so we've got our Mod Podge on the top we have secured the hemp on the bottom and I'll go through and I'll wipe it down with a little wet paper towel in a bit but that won't move, it, it will make sure that that is glued into place. So pretty awesome, pretty stinking cool. 
and then we'll go to the bottom part. And go right up in there. Hi, kitty. Whoop. And it's starting to mess on me, so that's cool. So I'm going all the way up in there with this fancy brush, and I'm not too picky about getting it on inside the uh, center of the whorl. I'm okay with that because then, again, it's going to dry clear anyway, and and I can wipe off the excess on the that's really kind of hanging over on there too. So let's get all up in there. Get up in there! Yay! I'm a dork. Thank you for watching me be a dork. So keep going down here and we'll switch to holding it up on top in just a moment. So that this is the finishing part and then it sits for weeks. So for weeks then it will sit and um, on my handy PVC frame, which uh, basically is like the rectangle you can see, sort of, you can't see the top part, but I have dowel rods um, that are small enough that fit, the hook fits on top. And uh, so that holds them up and keeps them happy. So yay for uh, inventions that I make to make my life easier while I am inventing other stuff. So me being a complete nerd, you get to watch it, and thank you for watching me be a nerd. Alrighty, I think we are looking good there. Again, I'm not too worried about chunkiness. It'll dry well, it'll dry clear. A little wet paper towel here. So I'm gonna carefully dab at the excess on the top here. that off while it's still wet you know before it starts to dry it will dry pretty quickly which is nice so the drying is done and then it'll um, just take longer to cure so that means it seals it off completely makes things super happy and then I'm just going to very carefully just do a little bit on the inside there not seriously I don't need to be a perfectionist about it as much as I want to be sometimes so I want to keep some of that intact I'm getting some of my knuckles from the thing so I'm being very careful that looks good enough to me so we've got a drop spindle and it's finished it just needs time to chill so it's gonna chill on my fancy thing here make sure I'm not gonna bump the other one that I have sitting there um, so we talked a little bit about my other drop spindles. Um, I've done as top whorl. So when I'm looking at a top whorl, it just means that the whorl, which is the round part that spins, um, is on the top uh, versus a bottom whorl, which you've got the hook on the top and then the bottom down there. So it'll um, spin kind of nicely. I don't have my string that I was going, I was using to measure um, I not measure, but just kind of see how well balanced it was. So it's just a little thing I had to hide on the top. I have it, I have some tests I had up on um, uh, Instagram so you, and uh, TikTok so you can check those out and see how I did that, what my process was. I even did some of the wrapping on there too so you can watch me fumble around a bit there uh, as I was making my decision making. Um, so how I wanted to do it and how I came up, it, it kind of, you could watch me do the brainstorming to come up with another solution for this. So I did, and that was when I ended up switching it. Um, you might see the evidence of it, but maybe not necessarily the process, but that's kind of, as I was filming it, I came up with that des decision. Um, so yay for, for uh, growth and progress. Uh, you never know which way it's gonna go, and that's exciting. It becomes it like a science experiment in that, and um, that's kind of fun, my brain likes it. I hope you like it. Uh, so, uh, so these are going to sit. I'm going to finish uh, doing the glitter Mod Podge on the outside, and then they're going to sit for a little while. And then we'll do another thing tomorrow. We'll see where the whim takes us tomorrow. 
Um, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you continue to have a great day. Um, and we'll see you next time. Toodaloo.